Now, does anyone remember when Emmerdale used to be all about farmers going out to milk their cows and tend their sheep? No, I don't really remember that either. But apparently, that's what used to happen. Now, though, it's full of hot young cover stars getting their kits off. Lisa's back in the Dales with two of the soap's sexiest stars. <laughs> doesn't get more authentic than this. Jane, you're literally offset. I'm covered in filth. <laughs> covered in filth. This is my day job now. I'm now a professional mechanic. That's it? Yeah. How did the scene go? It was fine. I didn't have any dialogue. I didn't have to do anything. I just had to look really manly and buff and do car stuff. But the ironic thing is, James Sutton, who plays Ryan, knows nothing about cars. Nothing at all. In the real life. In the in real, real life. life, yeah. So I have to pretend. I don't know, a fuel pump from a valve from a... I don't know anything. Sammy Winward, who plays the lovable Katie Sugden in the hit TV soap, has the blossoming love affair with Ryan. Yeah, I think it's quite nice because they start quite badly, I suppose, and they kind of argue and bicker quite a lot. Um, I think it's because they actually really like each other, but they find it a bit difficult to say the right things at the right times. Um, but yeah, I think eventually they kind of... Ryan puts up the courage to actually ask her. Sammy, who has been on the series on and off since 2001, has had a string of love affairs over the years. But what's it like to do a kissing scene in front of all the crew? Um, I find, no, I'm, I'm all right, actually. I've done quite a lot, so I don't find that nerve-wracking anymore. Um, and usually, you know, you get to know the person really well before, so it's just funny and, you know, I think the crew are used to watching it, like, every day, so... It's fine. I don't mind them. So really. It's not really erotic then at all. No, God no. Whoa, whoa, yeah, you know whoa. this is your, you know. Whoa. It's a little bit erotic when it's when I'm involved. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, poor guy. At least say it with some conviction, girl. So how many men have you gone through in the Dales? Five or six. That's not too maybe. bad. Yeah, with five or six, that's all right for seven years. And what about yourself? Now she only knew. Yeah, this is my first Emmerdale fling. Yeah, but you were used to it in Hollyoaks, there was a lot of action going on there. Yeah. You miss it? Not so much. No? No, you're happy, you're happy with your trade-off, I think. Yeah, no, I've not done badly, have I? No, James. Most men's mags would agree with you on that one. But who now is your fan base? Is it men or women? Boys, yeah. yeah a lot of 50-year-old men. Kind of, I, I seem to fit there. Criteria. Have you ever, is there anything in the post that's arrived that looks slightly suspicious? Oh, I've had some shockers. Come on. Yeah, just people who, like, I'm sorry I'm writing in crayon, they won't let me have any sharp objects, that kind of thing. And you? Um, I think the worst one I've got is a crucifix to save me from my sins, basically. So that was a bit scary. He was really annoyed at me. Really annoyed. <laughs> well, it seems there's never a dull moment on the Dales. So with the soap's favourite establishment behind us, it would be rude at least of me not to offer. Do you want to head in for a pint, actually? That would be smashing. Great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll take you in. So for more nail-biting storylines, plus fun and frolics from the Emmerdale crew, tune in weekdays at 7 on 3.